My name is Cameron Cormier. Primarily, I'm an artist and musician. That's where my passion lies. And coming out here, I have just like exploded with inspiration. Um, being in an environment where other artists are around me, uh, constantly inspiring me with their being and with their art. Um, I came here during the winter, so I came in kind of a hibernation period for the earth. And being here as spring is starting to explode, I'm watching all of these gorgeous uh, herbs and flowers and all of this flora and fauna just kind of like erupting from the earth in excitement for the warmth to be here again. Uh, so many creepy crawlies and uh, um, and it felt like a kind of a metaphor for exactly what I was doing personally um, and doing some like some hermitage getting we're looking inward and really feeling what's going on with me so that I could then take everything and make it outward and explode. And that's exactly what the earth is doing right now. My art is for women who have experienced a world where um, their, their expressions and their creations have not been placed in, in the light that, you know, maybe a man's has. And, and I'm here to like consistently be putting out work to, to raise both my voice and other women's voices, to bring out that representation of feminine femininity, and uh, feminine femininity, <laughs> to, to bring the representation of femininity in an environment where it is a very masculine site. A lot of uh, a lot of living at Arcosanti has um, has been just like seeing how masculinity has really. <laughs> I don't want to say run rampant, but it has really influenced the way that this place was structured. I mean, it was a, a man who designed and built this place, um, and uh, and and knowing the history of this place and knowing exactly what has uh, what has come out of um, the roots of this place, I think it's important to to continue to raise my voice and my experiences and uh, and remind other women around me that we have the right to do so. Well, I think the intention of this space was to was to to bring light to to a creative mindset and um, and without art, Arcosanti would be um, a concrete wasteland. Without art, Arcosanti I think would really just be a job. Without the art, the wind and the rain would carry this place back down the hill, you know. It feels so ingrained into everything. It's it would be like taking it would be like taking a component out of the concrete. It would just be something that weathers.